Did we really get going on our walk today? I thought it would be nice here to think about how wonderful nature is. Lots of the time we can be wandering around outside and forget all about it and how we would not be here without it. If we look at this little area of woods here, we can see a whole ecosystem where all the living things interact with all the non-living things to survive. An ecosystem is a community like a town or a village where each different part has a job to keep everyone healthy and happy. Look at this tree and the ecosystem it is a part of. Insects will live in the tree, birds will visit it and maybe make nests in it. Squirrels might look for their food in it. It needs air, water, sunlight and soil, which all living things need to be able to live and grow big and strong. The soil is full of life too and we'll find out more about that soon. Some ecosystems are very big, like a rainforest, but others are teeny tiny. Even a drop of water in a pond has an ecosystem in it. Nature is amazing. Ecosystems give us life too. We need them to live. Can you think about what nature gives us? Ask everyone what they think. Can you think of two each? When we go shopping, it's easy for us to understand that if we want food, we have to pay for it. But nature gives us things for free. Think about the autumn when the bushes are full of blackberries. We can just pick them and take them home. We don't even need to pay the bush for them. And as we know now, nature gives us so much more than food. It gives us water, power for our homes, wood, and keeps the air around us clean. It also helps us fight diseases and much more. If we had to pay nature for all of these things, how much would it cost us? I think more money than even the richest people have. So instead, we can show nature how thankful we are by doing our best to look after it. Can you think of any ways we can do this? Talk about it with your group today. As we stood here on this hill, it's very easy to see how if there was a heavy rain, it would all flow down into Webmore. We talked about the things we can do in our houses and community to try and stop it flooding, but what could we do here? We can't stop it raining, but we can do something called slow the flow. This means we can use nature to help us slow down how much water is running down the hill, so it's not such a worry. We're going to talk about this much more, but just keep this hill in your mind as you go along.